What's going on, guys? It's Scott Pizzle. So, look, I'm very aware that Pat Shermer's been fired. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm digesting that information, and uh, I'm going to make a video on that uh, if, if you know, tomorrow, if not today. Uh, but the video that I, you know, kind of this first video for for the Giants offseason that I want to make is is just talking about Eli. And I know I've made tons of Eli Manning videos, and 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 quite honestly. This is either going to be my last one or the, the next to last one that I, I make uh, here on YouTube about Eli. Um, I'm thinking about kind of doing an old school video where, you know, it's kind of me talking about Eli. I, I've done, I've, I've re-aired an old video where I was talking about Eli, but kind of putting a, a video together that, you know, when Eli, when I first came on YouTube, the Giants had not even had not won their last two Super Bowls, so I've been on here for for both of Eli Manning's Super Bowls, and um, you know, I don't have a lot of those videos up. I took I took a lot of them down, but I still have them, and you know, it's it's fun to look back at them and laugh at them and 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 whatnot. But um, you know, Eli has taken me and many Giant fans on a, on a wild ride. And one thing that you guys can relate to, regardless if you're a Giants fan, is this, or not necessarily relate to, but you can you can think about, you know, if I can't imagine being 21, 22 years old, being drafted by an NFL team, given millions of dollars, and asked to save a franchise that's a very, a very prideful organization in the biggest media market in the world, all while putting yourself behind the eight ball because of the draft situation and being able to live up to expectations. When you draft a franchise quarterback, the expectation is they're going to win a Super Bowl, if not more for you. Uh, that's the whole point of, of getting a franchise quarterback. And, um, you know, Eli, Eli not only held his end of the bargain, he he gave even more, and I don't think I would have the ability, even if I had the ability to play quarterback, I, the, my mindset and, and, and who I am as a person, I don't know if I would have been able to handle the pressure. I don't know if I'd have been able to handle the scrutiny because, you know, Eli Manning from the jump was, was scrutinized as the Giants quarterback all the way to the to the bitter end, and um, I'm just so thankful for him on, on just being awesome and just being – you know, performing at a high level and being able to do it with such class and, and dignity and and just be just being you know, Eli helped me as a person watching him play the game of football. Um, he he helped me understand not to get too uh, you know, in my personal life, not to get too high, too low on things. And, you know, he helped me grow as a person and um uh, of course, you're on YouTube. I, I I wear my heart on my sleeve, but um, you know, Eli, to me, you know, people. There's a saying that goes on a lot now, where and it's more so in basketball, where the people say, oh, "I'm more than a basketball player," or "I'm more than an athlete," you know. And a lot of that is just to me gibberish and, and political crap. But you know, to me, Eli Manning is more than a football player. Um, he, he, he really, he's earned that right to be able to say that. And, you know, he's just, I think he's, I think he's awesome. I think he's spectacular. And, um, you know, when your dad is an NFL quarterback and your brother's an NFL quarterback, I can't imagine the, the hype on you and having to meet those expectations on top of, you know, most athletes <clears throat> are hungry because of all the struggles that they've been through in their life, and it 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 strengthens them so that when they get to that point, they're hungry for success. They're hungry for um, they're hungry for to to reach the pinnacle. Eli Manning, throughout his whole life, I can't imagine ever had to struggle. You know, being who his dad was. And then at a certain point, who his brother was, and and just you know having probably tons of opportunities. I'm not saying he didn't struggle because he had his own personal struggles, but you know, 
what I'm learning in life is it's not what you know, it's who you know. And obviously, Eli had probably a lot of who you knows. And so, just for him to still bring his A game every year for the Giants and not embarrass this organization, you know, Eli will always be one of my favorite players. He'll always be high on the list. And, you know, it, 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 um, it hurt yesterday seeing seeing it come to an end, seeing him on the sidelines. Um, but you know my memories of of watching Eli play play for the Giants are, are always going to be good, and he's given us some magical memories and and some that I'm so thankful for. And once again, guys, there was a time in my life that I honestly thought the Giants were never going to win another Super Bowl. I, I was I had an EDP like mentality of of just well, I'll just root for him, but it'll never happen. I'll have to watch other, you know, I'll have to watch the Cowboys or I'll have to watch other teams do it. And and all of a sudden, um, Eli Manning shows up and, and it happens. And so you can talk to me about defenses. You can talk to me about all that. But the quarterback is, is, is a big leader of the team, and, and he was a perfect fit for those teams. And that's why the, the Giants were able to get that done and the reason why they were succeed. So, you can you can call him what he wants. Um, I have never. It's crazy because I, I I've, I've loved a lot of giants. I loved Michael Strahan, but I've never taking the trip to Canton, Ohio, to watch a giant player get inducted into the Hall of Fame. But I 100 percent can tell you right now that there is nothing in this world that will stop me from from seeing. Eli Manning inducted into the Hall of Fame. I will be there 110, you know, 110 percent. I will be there. I know he's going to go into the Hall of Fame. He deserves it, and I'm just so thankful for Eli. And like I said, I may do, um, I may do some kind of fun little edited video that that some of you old school people, some of you old school dogs will like. But, but um, you know, just thanks, Eli, and you're you're the best, man. You're the absolute best.